Nice to meet you all. I'm Shireen. Um, we'll just wait for a few more people to come in right on 4.30 and then we'll um, we'll kick off. Are you joining me from home or school, Sarah? <laughs> I'm actually in New Zealand, so it's like post dinner time. It's like 6.30 here and at home. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. We were just talking about our um, high school children all reading The Hobbit this year. <laughs> for <you seven. laughs> All uh, right. How old, how old are your year sevens? Uh, my son's turning 13 this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that uh, year eight. Yeah. Yeah. It's in, yeah. I think it will be intense. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I was going to say, um, no, no, I don't think any of my year eights would. Oh, actually, that's probably a lie. I think there's a couple of Star Wars fans in my class. And I think once you've exhausted Star Wars, that's the next step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm actually coming your way at the end of the year. We've got a cruise booked and I've got to book a Hobbiton experience for my um my 42-year-old child. My husband's a diehard <laughs> Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, those those children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. I think I'm going to say hello to everyone now. And I think we'll... um. We'll kick off. So hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon or this evening, depending on uh, where you're joining me from. I really appreciate you taking the time to jump into um, our STEAM sampler sessions. Um, we've been running a few. I don't know if um, a few of you have been across um, the Lego, the Class VR, um, obviously today's Merge, but we also have a Wonder Workshop coming up as well. Um, so you've got a really nice blend of products to enjoy across this series. Now, just bear with me. I'm just trying to get my mouse pad to take me across to PowerPoint for us. All right, hold on. Bear with me. Rachel, if you're on, I might get you to control the PowerPoint only because it's not letting me scroll across to presentation mode. Sorry, everyone, I'm going off my laptop at the moment. All right, we're going to go right back to the beginning. So hello and welcome. Um, my name is Shireen Wood. I've um, worked in the education space, uh, working with schools with their uh, marketing for open days um, in media. I'm a mum of three and I have a, a newly high school student this year and two daughters in primary school. So I fully appreciate the work that um, teachers and support staff do in schools. Um, and I love the fact that I'm able to learn something new with you and showcase um, a product like Merge this afternoon with you. So Merge is a handheld um, augmented reality, reality um, experience. Um, I can tell you firsthand, uh, I like to story tell, but when I was given a cube um, with Merge, I brought it home and I downloaded um, the apps and I actually sat it with my 74 year old father and my three children. And I just sat in my office and I heard the squeals of delight um, as they were holding the, the world in their hands and they were experiencing um, all the different uh, content pieces within Merge. And I knew then that this product was a game changer for the classroom. So the key components of Merge, obviously it's a multi-sensory experience. Um, it is curriculum aligned. Um, it can be used, um, I feel, across multiple disciplines and faculties. It's not just science-based. Um, I feel that the cube itself is also um, a creative writing piece. I know a lot of teachers have said to me, we use the cube as a choose your own adventure, kind of Indiana Jones style to get the kids excited about writing after they've experienced something um, on the Merge app. 
So there's three different um, apps that you need to download with uh, Merge EDU. So you've got the Object Viewer, you've got Merge Explorer and Hologo. So the key benefits um, for using Merge in the classroom, uh, traditionally um, it's a, a, st a STEM product with hands-on uh, stimulation. So for me, when I was at Edutech last year, I know having three children in the schooling system at the moment, they've all learnt the frog cycle. So when I jumped on and I saw um, the frog's life cycle, I was like, this is a game changer for me as a parent because it was quite different to the cut and paste activities that my children used to do um, when they were learning the life cycle of a frog. Um, you can view NASA data and um, in real time with the, the Hologo. Um, it also has um, career-centric STEM projects as well with um, the worksheets that come within the, the dashboard, which I'll also show you. For me, um, this is relevant from a K audience right through to year nine, especially with the little breakout sessions that you can have, the, the, the planning, the reviewing of the different projects. Um, a lot of the teachers that I've spoken to really like the STEM element for the design that they can do with Merge and then tack on other apps as well. So I will now show you the product itself. So bear with me as I jump from screen to screen. So I'm going to show you what world mode looks like. I don't know if you can all see that quite clearly, but um, I brought this home and my children were like, mum, we've got the brain on the floor and they were blowing it up, turning it inside out. Um, but you can actually, as a teacher, have this casted from your smart board. You can have the children on devices in breakout um, groups. But even from a conference perspective, we could blow up the um, human body to life size next to one of my colleagues. So, and I just want to also state to you all, this does not, my demonstration this afternoon does not give this product justice. I really want you all to um, touch and feel this product in person. So this is the cube. So I'm an 80s child, so I'm all about back to the future, adventure, Indiana Jones. And I've had so many people of my generation that I've dropped this into schools go, what is this? So even um, the cube itself is a massive talking piece with adults and children. Um, now, I'm going to show you. Can we all see that? We're in space now, exploring the galaxy. So this is what I call clickbait, getting the kids to go, what is that? Can I touch? Can I feel it? Um, for me, this is just one of many different things that they can do with the product itself. I'm now going to show you the dashboard. So once you um, get on board, you will get it. Um, you can get trial access where you'll see all the content pieces. You will need um, a Gmail to copy the Google documents um, for the class plans. I have asked the US team if I can get some PDFs for some of my teachers that don't use Gmail um, for the downloaded class plans as well. But I'm going to start with the standard section of the dashboard, which gives you all the curriculum alignment. Um, internationally, uh, from a New South Wales perspective, Victorian perspective. Um, what I like about the alignment is, is, is that it also demonstrates how cross-curricular. Just gonna see if that opens up. So a lot of my teachers, um, like comparing their curriculum alignment and then hitting up their colleagues in different faculties to pour in some money to fund 
their subscription. Um, we've also got Object Viewer, which I will show you a collection. So there's thousands of pieces of content within the dashboard. So this is an example of just one of the collections in Object Viewer, which obviously that could then lead into a history conversation, a day in the life of a, a citizen of ancient Egypt. And then with Merge Explorer, you have a number of pieces of content with human anatomy, life cycles, renewable energy, energy. That's the Galactica Explorer that we just had a look at. So they do come with quizzes, activity plans, which you download, uh, share options for your students. And then we'll jump into Hologlobe. Where you can see the satellite images, Earth, Earth at night, real time data. And these were the activity plans that I mentioned that you're able to download for your classes and cross-share as well. And then I'll show you STEM future projects. So this was the future engineers that I mentioned that a lot of the high school teachers seem to like. It just engages that seven to nine grade. Um, so what I like about this as well, it is also student led learning. So obviously depending on how your classroom is, whether you have them go out in their own groups or whether you ask them to complete a task on their own and then they can come back and present. I know firsthand when I was a student, this content I would have felt, felt overwhelming, but being able to digest it in a group, come back and present to the class what we discovered, um, I would have loved to have learned like this. So at a glance, um, the year groups are pretty much prep to year nine. Um, like I said, it covers a range of um, curriculum from maths, humanities, um, design and tech, social studies, digital tech and science. Um, you can buy it through EdBuy if you're in New South Wales. Obviously, as mentioned, it's um, curriculum aligned. You are able to loan um, the Merge Cube and have a decent play as well through your MTA rep and then just contact me directly so I can set you up for a trial. The price point is um, $15,9995 XGST and that gets you 30 licenses, which is what we call a lab pack and you can have generic logins and um, use that between different classes. And there's just some product links um, as well. So if you're keen to experience Merge, the best thing to do is just come directly through to me um, or reach out to your MTA rep and they'll physically drop in a cube for you to have a play with. Um, 
I have also discovered through my experiences with different children in different classrooms that the Merge Cube is actually a conversational piece for some children who suffer from anxiety that just need that brain break time. Um, I know in New South Wales that there's a whole anxiety project project now with principals funding um, different initiatives that maybe this might be suitable for those students that just need to go off in their own space and learn a different way and come back to the class after having some time time out for themselves but obviously you can set some um, aligned work for them as well. I'm obviously a um, big advocate having two girls myself for uh, girls in STEM. Um, I know there's schools that have STEM academy schools. So this can also be a preview tool if your school has a um, 3D printer. Um, as mentioned before, you can use another subscription with CoSpaces to actually load your own content um, that your students have created as well onto the cube. At Edutech, I met an amazing science teacher from Queensland who did um, a maths um, dinosaur park survey and actually had the kids build the dinosaurs within the cube and then had the survey data as well and then they were able to showcase that to their parents on an open night. So that in a nutshell, which doesn't give it any justice, is um, the Merge Cube and the Merge apps. I'm going to take off my uh, screen sharing in a moment but I also just wanted to say that we've got the symposium coming up and tickets are on sale for that so um, there's some amazing guest speakers that will be at that as well and I will ask if there's any questions that I can answer and if I don't have the answers I'll find out um, for us but if anyone has any questions please feel free, free to pop it in the chat And if there isn't any questions, feel free to um, send me an email directly. And like I said, let me get you onto a trial. Let me get your uh, reps to get you a cube of your own to have a play. Um, so thank you for your time. Was there any questions, Rachel? No? Okay. All right. Well, I'll give you your evening back, everyone. Thank you so much. I, I hope you enjoyed um, the snippet of what Merge is, and um, I'll see you at the next series. Thank you.